事態緊急事態昨今の行き過ぎたソーシャルメディアの影響により日本人の評判は地に落ちている模様よって本日ヒトさんまるまる緊急で動画を撮影し正しい知識の普及を開始する If you follow Japan topic, I'm sure you have watched things like this. で浮気してる方はいますか？まあ、自分が。風俗とかって浮気に入ると思います。入らない。入らない。And I've noticed that many foreigners nowadays start to think like Japanese people are so awful. Japanese people are just wild. あ、そう。あ、そう。いや自分の。As a Japanese person, I'm quite bothered by those narratives in the street interviews, and I even think that those creators are not being truthful to their viewers. So today, I want to talk about why you should not just believe those contents on social media, and sharing how I think about cheating culture in Japan as truthful as possible. So keep on watching. So I want to address three misconceptions about cheating in Japan, and the first thing is definitely this. Japanese people cheat more than the others. So, if I just be honest with you, I certainly think that cheating happens in Japan, and I can even say that it happens quite a lot. I have seen it, I have heard of it, I have experienced by Japanese men in the past. So, I can definitely say that yeah, it happens in Japan. Sadly, but what bothers me about this misconception is that. We cheat more than the people <laughs> in other countries. How can we tell? Because the question itself is already very private, and I don't think there is any survey, trustable survey, that shows which countries people cheat more than the others. I know that many people nowadays want to have kind of like a black and white answers, but on this one, I don't think there's any answers. Like. We don't know. We can never know. That's the answer. Recently, a big channel, ABA and Preach, they actually used my clip from the past and、uh, talked about this topic. And I totally agree with、uh, what they said on the video. If there is a difference, it ain't that big. So no need to pretend like one place like all these red pillars are going to Japan hoping to find. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> The difference is probably very small. I really agree with them, and it, probably the discussion itself is a little silly because more important things to think about is to how to find a partner that you can really trust and communicate with the partner what's the expectation for you. And in the end, we are all human, and sadly, we make mistakes. So I don't think there's any way you can avoid. Cheating, like hundred percent. That's harsh, but I think that's the truth. Second misconception is cheating is acceptable in Japan. I have to disagree with it. I think in general this is not true because first look at Japanese law. In Japanese law, cheating is guilty, and if you cheat on your partner, you will be punished, and the person you had affair with. Will get punished too if your partner desires, and this actually applies to non-married couples. If you are either engaged, like you know, doing propose and being fiance, or if the person can show that you guys have been together for a certain amount of time, I think that was four years, you still considered as engaged and will also get punished. So I think Japanese law is pretty strict about cheating. There's that. Also, let's say you are cheating on your partner, right? And talked about it to your Japanese friends or Japanese people around you. They probably not gonna accuse you at your face. Probably not gonna say like, "Oh, that's so disgusting. You should stop it. I disrespect you." Instead, they probably gonna say things like, "Uh, okay, you seem to enjoy it, so I guess that's nice." But You should notice that this is tatemai, Japanese masked feeling. They probably say nice, nice things to avoid confrontation or straight up disagreement, but in their guts, they are probably disgusted and probably gonna talk about it and talk shit about you behind your back. <laughs> so even if people around you don't really accuse you, that doesn't mean they are accepting what you do. There's also this aspect. If you look at the celebrities, Japanese celebrities, you see so many celebrities in Japan. 
they are accused for cheating or having an affair and many of them even lose their jobs like completely lose their job because cheating is a disgusting action in japan and many of the companies and tv shows don't want to hire people who have committed cheating and affairs becky lost her job completely because she was having an affair with a married man ken watabe the comedian who got married to a really beautiful japanese actress he cheated on her and completely lost his job and the unique case that happened recently is the Miss Japan. She got a title for Miss Japan, although her origin is Ukrainian. And she had to return the title because the media found out that she was having an affair with a married man. Many Japanese people thought that that is not suitable for the title as Miss Japan. So I don't think Japanese society in general is accepting cheating and people are quite disgusted by those acting. So I think people in the street interviews who are saying, Oh, it's completely acceptable in Japan. They are either saying tatemae, try to be, you know, very soft about it, or they are cheating on somebody and want to justify. And of course, those street interview creators pick up those controversial answers. The third misconception is Prostitution is not considered as cheating in Japan. So this is very complicated because I used to think that way. And after I found out that's a crazy idea, I really thought about it. And I think it connects to the history of Japan about the discrimination towards women. So we are going back to the history, but bear with me, bear with me, because this is so important. So back in Edo period, Japanese government banned human trafficking because of the influence from the West. But even so, they still didn't ban prostitution because they didn't really care about it because, you know, prostitution is basically a job for women. So why didn't they care about it? Because the discrimination started from Kamakura period. It comes from the Kamakura religion that is teaching people that women are filthy. Women are inferior than men. The only way women can be a worthwhile to give a birth to a son, not even a girl, a son. That's when women can be worthwhile. That was what they taught to the people. So the discrimination of women start from there and even till this day, no women can be an emperor, no women can perform sumo because sumo is a performance for God and women are filthy, right? <laughs> so no women can is allowed to play sumo even nowadays. And it also applies to prostitution. In Japan, prostitution is illegal, but the government and police uh, let things slide when it comes to prostitution in Japan. So it was quite common for Japanese men to go to prostitution even when they have relationships. And at that point, like a um, few decades ago, mostly households are working husbands and stay-home wives. So even when husbands go into the prostitution, wife couldn't do anything to go into the prostitution and had to think that that is not cheating, you know? And that became a social expectation for women. That is why you still see those women. But even though they say that in front of the camera because of the social expectation, I don't think any women are happy about it if there are partners actually going to prostitution and it's going to be a trouble. And I guess Japanese women nowadays started to be a little more independent and have more choices. More women choose to leave the relationship when that kind of things happen. I've seen a few female friends of mine uh, who actually ended the relationships because they found out that their partners were going to prostitution. And I totally understand why they did that. So about this misconception, I think it was true, but nowadays, if you go into the prostitution while you are in a relationship, it would be a trouble. I also see some people who say that oh, Japanese people cheat more, the first misconception, because prostitution is so common. But 
I have to disagree with that too because we have to look at the basic. Prostitution is basically, basically for men who cannot get dates. And considering that so many like trustable statistics say that more and more people becoming single nowadays, I would assume that majority of the customers for prostitution are single men. So I don't think that can make the conclusion that Japanese people cheat more. I think it contributes more to the low birth rate in Japan because people can just buy sex instead of having a real relationship. So I see the bias there too because if you look at those social media, they all talk about married men going to prostitution and not single men going to prostitution, right? So it feels like so many married people in Japan go into prostitution, but these were the misconceptions I wanted to explain to help you to have more balanced views on Japanese people. In the end, I know that it's just my point of view, but I think it's good to have. I have a few more videos about those recent street interviews. If you are interested, check them out. So I'll see you there. Bye!